Voters looking forward to returning to Ontario Place this year have been left high and dry with word that early construction on the venue's redevelopment will keep them out of the marinas and some without a place to live this summer. Our Mark McAllister has that story tonight. It's leaving 240 boaters thereabouts, uh, many of them that actually live on their boats during the season, uh, without a place to go, with a five-year wait list anywhere else downtown. The snowy weather and empty water at Ontario Place today only makes those who would normally be boating and living on the lake during the spring and summer wanting to return that much more. The boaters who lease space at the marina there have been told with a simple email in February that it's not possible with prep for the future of the venue already starting. They're closed uh, due to the renovations and the, the upgrading of Ontario Place. The notice was sent less than three months before the marina would normally open, saying, in keeping with the government's redevelopment schedule, the North and South Marina at Ontario Place will be closed starting 2023. Passenger pickup and drop-off will also not be accommodated. What plan knows that they're going to start something in a couple of days and gives only a couple of days notice to like all the affected tenants of the marina? Like This just smacks of bad planning, lack of consultation, and just it almost seems like flying by the seat of their pants here. The controversial plan from the province to have Austrian-based Therma Group build a spa resort and water park on the property has led groups like Ontario Place for All to speak up for more public space. We have to continue to fight and make people understand what a gem this is on our waterfront and what it means to Ontarians all across this province. We asked Ontario Place why those who would soon be spending time next to the Cinesphere were told during the winter that their time was up. The response we received said stakeholders, including marina patrons, were advised as soon as the details and construction schedules were confirmed. We understand our stakeholders and marina patrons need to make plans accordingly, which is why we provided the closure update as soon as possible. Sadly, the folks I think about the most, there's about 25-30% that actually reside on their boat during the season. That's their residence, you know, and that's a community we've kind of built up over the last five years that I've been a part of Ontario Place. Those waiting to get their boats in the water now face waiting lists in some cases for years at other Toronto area marinas, with no word on whether they will have first rights to return to Ontario Place when construction is complete. Mark McAllister, City News.